how we missed that man striding to the pitch, scaring the crap out of bowlers around the world. He joins us now, Matty Hayden. Thanks so much for being part of the show. Do Pleasure. You, do you miss the contest? Yeah, of course. I mean, such a great um, reward to actually have done so much work before the actual event starts. But to get out in the heat of the battle and to actually eyeball someone yep. and see if you can actually tear out their heart, literally, <laughs> right there and then. Yeah, I'll you miss that. Yeah. You him out there. Let's just go back to what's happened today. There's been the reports of Mickey Arthur, uh, and he's come out and spoken about the culture within the Australian cricket team. I know you already have been a little bit uh, out there and, and your comments on it. What have you made of him saying the things about the Australian cricket team's culture? Does he have a right, as somebody who's been in the mix, to talk about it? Yeah, look, I've obviously been quite outspoken about Mickey Arthur um, today. I've sort of given him the benefit of the doubt, but a little bit to your point as well, I think, you know, he has gone, gone and done a deal with Cricket Australia. The least he can do is actually respect the culture that he's left behind. And I would have honoured and, and appreciated him. Just He's allowed to have an opinion, no question. But in my mind, it is a very, very proud culture in Australian cricket. Yes, there are a lot of old boys. In fact, there's only just a little over 100, 450 players that have ever played for our country. Mm -hmm. And I reckon that had he known the culture a little bit more and been a bit more invested into it, then I'd appreciate and respect his comments. Are there cultural issues now in this team? You, you talk well, about are, you know, strong culture in the past. Yeah. Well, but well, they, don't look like, they don't look like they hurt enough when they lose. Oh, gee, that's a... Big call, isn't it? You know, it really is. But Especially in that Jaffa jacket. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I guess culturally, one of the things that is, is concerning me is someone like Mickey Arthur actually coming out and making comment on someone like Shane Watson. And, and, you know, we only have to go back a couple of seasons to understand that Shane Watson was the premier voted in the world all-rounder. Yep. Now, here's a guy that has got two hundreds out of 2050s if he's made a mistake, it's actually been because he hasn't had a great conversion rate. You know, he's basically that means a one in ten innings he's actually going on and making a big one. Had he have been in that position and scored a little more heavily, where as they say, you know, you go on and just get a dirty big fat one, not only is his side actually winning more, yep. but he's actually in a scenario where his aggregate and average is, is a lot more. Not forgetting the fact that he got, he's got 46 test wickets as well. I mean, I would have just died out of one of them, to be <laughs> perfectly on, honest. Just on Watson, Matty, I'm really keen to get your read right because I reckon the general public's frustration with Shane Watson is that he doesn't seem to be a team man all the time. And we saw with Homework Gate where obviously he got punished, he came back, he bagged Mickey, Mickey Arthur. I didn't have a problem with that, but what's your view on whether Shane Watson is a, a team player or mm. whether he can be viewed as being a little bit too individualistic? Well, well, what's being viewed and what I actually know is that he is actually a, a team player. Right. You know, but he is a guy that, that has got quite a soft personality. He's right. a big person, so I guess... That's, you, that's you, a you, contradiction, you, isn't it? Well, yeah, you, yeah. you expect someone to come out and start smashing everything in sight. Um, but the reality is, you know, he is a quirky individual, but he's got a great place and presence in the side. And he's, for example, in the one-day game, he's averaging 41 at a strike rate which is ridiculous... You know, I think you've got to just lay off him a bit, frankly. I think he is such a fine player.